but Dallas is quite capable of pulling probably quite a few turn, I would have said, on the on the flat. Five turn is back, I saw five fingers up there. you could fold back when you weren't using going around there. Uh, so excellent, excellent display. But he has to walk along behind it. He wasn't going to bring it in, but we was waiting him to do so because it's such an unusual event. He'd be very pleased, but he's managed to mend this one and get it going. Quite a rare track for that one. And that one is towing a dung spreader. That tractor came from New Zealand as a non-runner and got it in full running order. So he, bought, he managed to get the one out of New Zealand. You're not allowed to take them out of New Zealand. <laughs> owned by Tony Harrington, some of you, was built for export to Turkey, but it was a uh, stop going by the intervention of the First World War. It's uh, quite different from some of our hopes. Dallas, 14 traction engine. Again, the usual one, um, the reproduce, not so many of those about, and this is in a half-size scale. Um, you will actually find a full-size scale, so it's quite different to have two things in the boiler on the bottom. Exactly the same details as the other ones got it. But, uh, again, the weeks will be used for hauling out timber. 
and then all that various tow bar equipment there would have a log, uh, log trailer on the back for hauling round wood back to the store mill. Very, very nice, very original bit of track that there and out there. Still quite close. Working life doing low load of work until the mid 70s. So the great trade is just there with the bar for the And he's a pop all the history and everything is It's been uh, shown for delivery now. Not sure whether the gel, etc., match with the build. All very original. Shell in delivery of the USAAF Haiti Art Air Force Squadron. Space uh, receiving in all. Austin Healy 3000 Mark III and specifically a Phase 2 says here it will be driven by dad or daughter. Now I can tell from here that it's daughter. You're improving. I am. And uh, that's better. That sounds good. That definitely sounds good. I think he's trying to blast away the uh, Daimler we have behind. This is called the runner of the SP250, or is it the other way around, James? I can never remember which way they call them. But uh, glass fiber body, of course, and this one, of course, does have the turn of it. Hammer Green, this is a 1952 car imported from California. It was restored and converted to right-hand drive by the owner, and also rebuilt and modified to a five-speed gearbox. Well worth the effort he did in transfer. Paint and trim is the colours when it left factory in 1952 from several parts, which is something you can do quite easily with a Morris Minor. It's fitted a servo, for example, to improve the braking, and he's put some extra instruments in so you can see what's going on under the bottom. I'd like you to think it was from a 1600 Cortina GT, it's actually just that specification because Morgan built them like this. Um, it's a cross-flow engine with a stage two conversion, and uh, the owner, who is Alec Alexander from Finch Hampstead, tells us that it's in constant Another nut wheel, this is a 1952 nut wheel to They also bought a 2009 ended for £6,000. Cost new when £700. Also had to bring her down south from Scarborough. She's now called Sharon. Hey. She's from Essex, Dagenham of course, and it got the Ford famous straight six engine. Well, this one's a, a bit special. This is Jane Pryor's Fiat 1-2. Guys, I could have done it. 